So fortunately, what we um, see is that um, uh, we now have um, more um, practice in the treatment of um, CRS and ICANS, the most common um, early side effects of CAR T-cell therapy. Um, here, there is not a big change um, in regard of um, with what we treat the patient. So we, again, apply um, IL-6 blockade um, for patients that are CRS grade 2 and more. Uh, we, again, apply uh, corticosteroids for patients with um, ICANs. Um, we can also apply um, I1 blockade for patients that are um, refractory to uh, corticosteroids and have ongoing ICANs. Uh, what, be, what will be really very interesting um, to see in the future um, is um, if there might be a general re recommendation of a prophylactic treatment for these two side effects. Um, so far, Maybe some centers do it, maybe some centers do not do it. There is no general recommendation for prophylaxis, but we um, have already some data showing actually that um, um, IL-6 blockade should not be a problem in regard of the efficacy of the treatment. Um, so, for example, in our center, what we are um, now doing is we are giving elderly patients uh, above the age of 75, um, IL-6 prophylactic treatment. Uh, but we don't um, still don't have um, data, so this is now ongoing. But um, again, it will be really very interesting in the future to see um, if there might be a general recommendation for IL-6 blockade and also for, for corticosteroids in um, some risk 